Here we go. Dropping off the nectar. Bees are popping out. Oh, there it is. See it? It's dripping. It's full. Get out of the way, little buddy. I need that. I need that honey. Hey, guys and gals. Polly Jr. here. And welcome to my Minecraft snapshot video. This is Minecraft 19W34A. The newest snapshot out today, August 22nd, 2019, I believe it is. <laughs> and I'll put a link down below in the description to the, uh, the Minecraft.net webpage where you can read about the change log and all that stuff and get this particular snapshot if you would like. We are going to take a look at the new content added today, at least one thing anyway, and that is bees, baby. Yes, bees. Bees are the bees' knees. And we're going to go check them out. I literally just downloaded this and spent about 10 minutes on it to get familiar with it. And we're going to take a look at this um, this world right here. I literally made one world and it had bees right next to it in Beehive. So let's go ahead and load it up and we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the new bees. So here we go. All right, here we are. So let me just bring up the seed real quick and I'll put this down in the description so you can just copy and paste it. But there it is. Uh, this is where I literally had spawned the first time I loaded up the snapshot to take a look at bees and we are in a flower forest amazing right here next to uh next to spawn now apparently these beehives will spawn naturally in in regular old forests so you don't have to be in a flower forest but this was quite appropriate because look at all the dang flowers and bees love flowers don't you little guys they sure do so look at them they're, they're awesome I love them now, what they do, obviously, is collect nectar from the flowers by hovering above them. And, uh, well, they'll do it here in a second. They kind of sit on it and rotate, as it were. And they'll pull out some, uh, they'll make honey. Then they bring it over to the, um, they bring it over to the beehive, which is this guy right here. Do not break it, otherwise they will attack you. <laughs> um, and then they, uh, and then it gets processed inside and becomes honey. And you can get honey and honeycomb from the beehives that I have discovered so far. So I'm still learning about the bees, but that's what I've learned so far. And also we can, uh, we can actually, oh, let's grab a couple of flowers here. And we can actually, <laughs> hi guys, hold that up. They love flowers. They follow you around if you have flowers in your hand and you can breathe them. Check it out. One flower a piece. And it's all about the birds and the bees, isn't it? Or the parrots and the bats, whichever, whichever comes first, I don't know. And look at the little baby bee, he's adorable. Get to work, you little stinker. <laughs> I wonder if the little baby can make honey, too. I don't know. Let's see. Yes, he is. He's rotating. Uh, his parents could take a lesson from him because the parents are just kind of flying around doing nothing. Don't you guys have jobs? And the little baby's like, this is how you do it. Look at that. He went right into the hive, right in that little hole there. And he's going to release his, his honey or nectar or whatever. And, uh, and then we're going to be able to get it out of there when it's full. And you can tell when it's full when it starts dripping honey on the ground so we have to wait a few minutes are you guys busted these two are not working what is it a saturday is it a sunday day off today sheesh i'm glad i made the kid because he's the only one working oh this guy right here he's ready to deliver his honey look at his little butt it's full of honey we call that honey butt hey pal follow me and i'll show you where the uh where the beehive is um in fact why don't we just switch to game mode creative here real quick and we're gonna we can actually use a lead to lead these bees Although, he must have a home somewhere. Where's your Where's your home, pal? Are you lost? Here, we're going to bring him. Bring him over here. Come on. I got a perfect hive for you. Right over here. Yeah, that, you can see the honey dripping off his butt. I like to call that honey butt. And that means he's full. Now, this is still not full yet. So, let's do some things here. Let's get a crafting bench out. And I'm going to show you some of the recipes. Because apparently, we can make beehives. Yeah, so we have the new honeycomb. And we have honey bottles. All right, there it is. Yes, so we can make our own beehive with three honeycomb and six wooden planks. So let's just go ahead and pull that out right now. Uh, there's the bee's nest. That's what gets uh, generated naturally, obviously. And here's the beehive. And we'll just stick it right here on the tree. There we go. So yeah, we're going to be able to have our own beehives and bee farms. Hi, little buddy. And uh, I guess we'll be able to process honeycomb and process honey bottles and the honeycomb apparently you can get from full hives as well but it will upset the bees taking the honey does not upset the bees but apparently if you take the honeycomb it makes them pretty mad uh, well there's a little baby right there is that our little baby oh here we go this guy's doing the uh 
the sit on it and uh, twist thing. <laughs> sit on it and spin, getting the nectar. And he brought it into the honey, uh, into the hive, and then dropping it off. And sooner or later, it will be full. I don't know how many bees it takes to make one beehive full, but we'll find out. Here comes another guy with honey butt. Over here, pal. This little bee's working hard, isn't he? The little baby. <laughs> He's a busy little bee. And everybody should be taking uh, notes. Oh, there we go. Inside goes another bee with nectar. And hopefully that will fill it up. I'm going to grab some armor because we are probably going to get attacked here. As soon as we grab the uh, the honeycomb, they will not appreciate that. Oh, I got two helmets. I need pants. Give me the pants. All right, diamond pants and a shield in the hand because apparently we can block the uh, the stingers. You can see the little stingers on their butts um, somewhere around there. Show me your little stinger. Yeah, right there. And they uh, they will sting you if you destroy their hive or you take the honeycomb from the hive, but not the um, not honey, apparently. We can get honey out of there with bottles. So let's grab a few bottles. And we just have to, again, we just have to wait until this thing gets filled up. Oh, here we go. Dropping off the nectar. Bees are popping out. Oh, there it is. See it? It's dripping. It's full. Get out of the way, little buddy. I need that. I need that honey. So we can take the honey or the honeycomb. So why don't we go ahead and, um, well, let's do the honey first. Because that doesn't uh, make the bees angry. So we take the honey. Does it? No. Oh, well, yes, it does. Okay, sorry, buddy. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, that, unfortunately, that poor little fella right there that stung us, um, it doesn't show the effect here. But, yeah, so you get poisoned for a few seconds, and it does pretty good damage, doesn't it? Wow. Now, that bee that just stung us is going to die, unfortunately. He made the sacrifice. He didn't like that we took his honey, which is right here, by the way. So we did fill up one of our bottles, and let's go ahead and drink it. Um, now he's going to die in 20 seconds. So sad. But, uh, well, that's life. That is life. I don't know which one it was, but hopefully, if it's the guy with the honey butt up here, he brings that nectar in first before you die, pal. Oh, there he is. The poor little feller. He just croaked. I think it's like 20 or 30 seconds after... He stings. He dies. Oh, so sad. But that's okay. We can make more. We can make more bees with the flowers. And it looks like they're all going in their hive. I think they go in the hive at night. And they stay in there until the next day. So the sun's going down. And we're just waiting for this la last little bee with the honey butt to go make a delivery. Okay, I stand corrected. We still have bees out doing bee things at night. So maybe this is just uh, the second shift. I don't know, but it's clearly nighttime and they're still out collecting nectar. I mean, even the uh, even the little one here. This is child labor. Um, he's still out here collecting nectar. This one's still flying around with his honey butt. Uh, well, I, I guess technically it's nectar butt. But it doesn't sound quite as good as honey butt, does it? All right, go, go make a delivery, dude. Hurry it up. All right, let's make it day. And it looks like our hive here, not our hive, but their hive, is full. So let's go ahead and collect the honeycomb and see how much we get. But I'm going to bring up my shield because they're going to get angry and I'm going to make a run for it. Uh, but we need shears for this, apparently. So, all right, we got one guy flying around with a sticky butt. Sticky butt, that's perfect, yeah. Um, on three, two, one, go. Got our honeycomb and I'll run it out. I don't want anybody to sting me. And I don't want anybody to die. Oh, even the ch even the little kid's angry. <laughs> Holy smokes! Don't worry, they will uh, they'll calm down in a few seconds. Chill, dude. Chill. I don't want you to die, kid. They can't get through the shield, which is nice. He was knocking on the shield, but uh, he should survive. I don't think stinging the shield qualifies as a sting. I don't know. Let's keep an eye on this kid and see what happens to him. <laughs> Sticky butt. Yeah, I like that better than the honey butt or the nectar butt. Sticky butt sounds sounds good. And uh, it is technically correct. All right, let's get back over to the hive, which is right over here, and grab our honeycomb. So we got three honeycomb, right? Because I had one out from creative mode. So we got three honeycomb from that one operation. So apparently you're going to have to make a choice whether you want honeycomb or honey bottles when you harvest from a full hive. Let's go find another nest. We'll find a rival 
hive and we're gonna wipe it out because I want to show you guys what happens when you uh, when you attack one of the beehives and oh here's one right here okay first of all let's see can we eat I don't think we can eat the honeycomb no you can't eat honeycomb but obviously you can drink the, uh, the honey bottles and apparently it returns I think three meat pops um, but there's no other special effect, at least not yet anyway, and apparently the honey does not, it does not, uh, does not stack, at least not yet. And there's no gooey, you can't get in here and play around with anything. Um, where's my beehive? And same with the beehive, so this is clearly still a work in progress, there's no way to open it up and look inside. I'm thinking in the future that will be possible, at least with the, uh, the homemade beehives, right? I'm not sure about these natural beehives. Anyway, let's, uh, well, let's do this. This is going to make everybody a little bit upset. But that's the way it is. Uh, so we stole their honey, and now we're just going to kill this guy right here. A couple of hits with a, uh, with a diamond sword. And this guy, you coming? You want some? Here they come. Stinging. Trying to sting. Can't get through the shield. They're not even doing any damage to the shield. <laughs> All right, let's go over here and wipe this out. Ooh. Oh, there's more honey in there. Oh wow, this one looks like it has more honey inside still. Hold on. Let's um let's drink that honey and grab more. No. No, that was just leftover drops. Oh, dang you. Now if we destroy this honey, uh de destroy the nest, I think one pops out. Yeah, one will pop out. He's obviously angry. He doesn't have a home anymore. Although, hey buddy, you can live right here. Looks like a nice place. Not really the best spot for it, but let's pick it up and put it up on a tree somewhere. Maybe this guy will move in. Oh, wait, that's not it. <laughs> there we go. Put it right there. Oh, he just went poof. The poor little guy. I don't even know if he stung me. All right, let's switch back to creative mode here right quick. It will fly around this, uh, this awesome flower forest right here and just see how many beehives... We can see. I mean, there's a bunch of bees flying around. I don't know if they're all from that same one hive or not. Oh, yeah, there is. Right here. Look at this. Under this tree. Another hive. So that's three natural beehives right here in this very small forest. But apparently they spawn naturally in uh, pretty much any forest. I think. We can go over here and take a look and see if they're in the taiga. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I see a bee sitting and spinning. On a red flower, here's a beehive right here. This must be yours, huh, pal? Let's get rid of that grass. You can't see the um, can't see the honey dripping down. And here's another bee over here near the village. So yeah, apparently um, beehives do spawn in other forests, not just flower forests. But obviously the bees need flowers to gather nectar. So if it is a flower forest, they're nice and close, right? And there's tons of them. There's another bee over here. There must be another hive close by. Yep, right there. So, yeah, there you go. Pretty cool stuff. Bees are going to be added to Minecraft. They're in the snapshot right now. So if you want to play around with them, you got to load up the snapshot, which you can do from the launcher. And with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I'm going to go play around with these bees a little more and see what else they can do. <laughs> if I punch one, do they all go crazy? Holy smokes, yes, they do. Oh, my. Yes, the whole hive goes nuts. Uh, gotta run, guys. Bye. <laughs> now, are they afraid of water, I wonder? Watch out, cat. Get to the water, buddy. Bees are coming. Oh, gosh. They're right on my tail. It's a good thing they don't fly very fast. <laughs> Sooner or later, they'll stop chasing, I think. Oh, there we go. Okay, they're happy again. Yep, very, very happy. Good. All right, well, that is it truly this time. So, once again, hope you guys enjoyed. Wow. Leave a like on the video if you did and you want to see more snapshot videos uh, for 1.15. And I will certainly do more. So with that, my friends, we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Oh, that poor bee just died for some reason. Is that the one that stung me? That must have been the one that stung me. Oh, so sad. Uh, all right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.